Welcome back to the Tomarosa. This is a story about the day that our shelter logic was destroyed. <laughs> So as you may remember, we bought a shelter logic so that we could use it initially to house our calves and then we used it for hay storage this last winter. Which it worked great for until just a couple days ago. It's almost like nature knew we had built our barn and was like, you don't need this shelter logic structure anymore. This was the scene that day. We actually had some visitors to our farm and of course when you have visitors you're trying to talk up all the awesome things you're doing and showing them everything and how everything's worked out great for you. You only have one chance to make a good first impression. And it was a new person we never met before and we had just had our introductions and the next thing I knew the shelter logic flew across the field. And so this is what happened. Imagine Stacy is our new visitor and I'm standing beside him just like this. And we were talking about farming and looking out over the pasture. We were having about 30 mile per hour gusts that day. And from this point of view is when the event happened. It just crossed our field of view. And now is the dramatic recreation of this event. It happened something just like that. And ironically, I did not have my phone on me or this camera, and Stacy was chasing the shelter logic across the field. And so I had to ask our new friend, hi, do you have a camera? Can you take some photos? And so his photos are the ones that we have here of what happened. Funny story, uh, our visitor who was here that day uh, expressed to us that actually one of the first videos that he watched uh, that we have made was the one on the shelter logic. So it was like a full circle life story of him and our farm and the shelter logic. Funny how that works out sometimes. There where is where the shelter logic was. Here's the field, here's the field, here's the field, here's the field. Here are the pieces. And there's Stacy. So when it took off, I took off after it uh, because it was doing somersaults across the field and I didn't want it going across that fence line because I didn't want to mess up the fence. And then I didn't want it going down the bluff because I'd never catch it then. So as soon as I caught up to it, the first thing I did is I took my knife, which I always carry. I just started cutting the straps that held the covers on uh, just to reduce that sail area. So once those were cut off, then there was no chance of it blowing away. This is the east edge of our farm. There's Stacy. There's the shelter logic structure. And as you can tell, there's quite a hill that drops down here to another farmstead down to the river and then 395 north. And we're very glad that it did not make that leap. Of the three corral panels, uh, two are in pretty good shape. One is basically untouched. One just has a little bit of a bend at the bottom. I should be able to press out, but this third one is the worst. Um, I'll, tr I'll try and salvage it. I'll probably cut it off and make it a gate or something like that. Uh, salvage the hardware and yeah, there's some, it's pretty light gauge, but there is some steel pipe. I don't know, but yeah, I'm not throwing that away either. Now, obviously some of the stuff is wrecked and we'll just uh, recycle it for scrap. So this is where the shelter logic used to live. Luckily we didn't have too much hay left in there so yesterday I went ahead and moved uh, the remainder of the good hay into the barn where it is currently located. Well folks with the destruction of our shelter logic which was protecting our hay I guess now is as good a time as any to go ahead and move it into the barn. Got the blue tractor there with the grapple. Picks it up way more than I could do with the pitchfork. And I got the farm all cub there with the trailer. That's how I'm moving it back and forth. So this is uh, the first load here that's uh, dumped on the ground and then uh, right behind it I got a uh, full trailer full. Uh, 
So this will probably last a couple weeks. You wouldn't know it now, because it's snowing, but the last week was extremely warm. Like we were in the 50s and we had several inches of snow on the ground that melted rather suddenly. And I think that the ground was just really soft uh, from the big thaw and all the moisture and the anchors just pulled out, just nothing to hold it, so. Yeah, so we probably could have checked on that, but I mean, just like a lot of things on the farm, lesson learned. Hindsight's 2020. So while the loss of the shelter logic is indeed tragic, uh, we are actually very happy that uh, no animals were hurt, uh, no people were hurt, and nothing else was damaged other than the shelter logic. So we're actually feeling uh, very blessed that even though it was destroyed, that's all that was destroyed. And there were still some usable parts left over from it, so we'll still have value from it. Oh, absolutely. But otherwise, we're happy to continue to work on our barn moving forward, and we'll share that with you the next time on the Tomarosa. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And otherwise, uh, we appreciate your comments, so feel free to leave a comment if you'd like, and we'll see you next time.